Hey guys, John Martini here from JoeCoMartini.com. Got a new tool for you called Puzzle Maker, which does just that. Helps you make puzzles in 3ds Max. So if we go ahead and hit Preview, it will lay out uh, the default settings here in the viewport. Which you can see, these are just native splines in 3ds Max. So you can begin editing it. You can adjust the size. You can adjust the number of rows and the number of columns. Um, and then from there, you can adjust the seed, which just helps with some of the variation stuff. Um, so if you change this, you'll see some of the pegs start changing shapes. And then we have extrude. So if, you, if that value is greater than zero, it will automatically add an extrude modifier and then a chamfer modifier to give the edges a little bit of rounding to them. Um, so if we keep going on down into the peg variation, if we zero that out, um, it essentially just disables the pegs from being, uh, imagine this peg here, it can move left and right a little bit without getting too close to the edge. That's what this uh, position variation does. It helps kind of jostle those pegs positions around. And the size does the same thing, only it affects the radius of the actual peg itself. So if we crank that all the way up to one, you'll see we get some really tiny ones. Um, all the way up to their original size. So if we turn, put that at zero, then it essentially doesn't do any size variation. And if we zero out position, no position variation. I find a good mix is somewhere around this, 1 and 0.5. And then next we have the peg shapes. You can see I have uh, five of them automatically enabled right now. Those tend to mimic what you would see in a traditional puzzle. Um, but you can mix and match. So if we turn these all off and maybe just have um, arc on, you'll see that particular shape looks like kind of like a half moon or something like that. We have a dome one. And now if you turn on multiple, each peg on each piece will randomly pick between any of these enabled peg shapes. So we can go down here and turn on square. And now you'll see some of them are randomly a square shape, which you can adjust the seed up here to kind of uh, further randomize where those square pegs show up as well as the dome and the arc. And then once you're happy with what you like, um, you can simply just hit create and you got your puzzle. Now you'll see right here when I hit create, uh, it just gives me an array of splines. If I delete that and go preview again and turn on the extrude, we'll give it a one. And now when I hit create, uh, same thing, all of these at the base are going to be a spline, but it does include the modifiers, which makes it a little bit easier for you then to go in and add a UVW map and put your texture on there and start rendering away. So check out the tool and let me know your thoughts. If you have any feedback, as always, let me know. Thanks.